Hi, this is Dan Harley. I wanted to um, log what I'm seeing here, kind of a quirky problem with the website. Um, at my client friend site, client site, American Volleyball Association, volleyball.com. Um, let me show you something that's going to happen on Google first. Now, what I've done here, I kind of indexed, did a site index search for volleyball.com on Google. Uh, site colon volleyball.com this basically um, tells me what Google thinks is on this website uh, in, in in their directory you can see here volleyball.com Viagra Bangladesh 6 percent off lowest price of guaranteed best pills however uh, another thing milk, milk thistle Cialis Viagra St. John Warts uh, yes definitely Propecia Cialis commercial Cialis Can Canada cheap um, definitely stuff that is not related to volleyball.com. Obviously, somebody has um, did a little bit of hacking or whatever to get to create all this stuff here. Now, this is only on Google. Yahoo and Bing do not have these listings yet. Then again, uh, Google kind of says they're spiral out, spiral out every couple of days or so. Where Yahoo and Bing might take a week or two from this stuff here. So, um, anyway, obviously a problem. So um, we went in and checked into the website. Now we're back on the website here, and um, let me go ahead and pull up the site code here so you can see that uh, what we've seen in Google's um, uh, database does not relate to what's actually happened on the site here. Give me a little bit here. Now we're looking at, looking at the source code um, for the homepage for uh, volleyball.com. As you can see here, um, there's nothing that's saying Viagra or Cialis, anything in the um, here's a title tag here. Uh, the description is all the stuff that's supposed to be there, but is not shown up on Google. So obviously something between a robot, all this stuff here, and it seems to be uh, straightforward. And I'll go down the code here, and you know, your typical run-of-mill Joomla type of uh, website template. So the website itself seems to be working pretty much normal too. Um, I did find something kind of strange here. I'm waiting for this thing to load up. Their volleyball equipment, their their store, the forum. And the forum seems to be working okay. I mean there's one of the categories here, subcategories. You're getting some actual stuff that, that we're talking about here. So We're going to kick on the events categories here, the events page. So that part seems to be working. For the most part, everything seems to be working uh, normal. Okay, now let me show you something kind of strange. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the search here, I'm going to type in Viagra. Now everything seems to come back normal for this. This is, you know, nothing showing for Viagra. The reason why I found this is I'm actually trying to figure out what's going on. How come Viagra is coming up all the time? So did a global search for for Viagra. Nothing there. Now this is what's strange. I'm going to click on a link here, Volleyball Equipment, and all of a sudden I'm launched to another website called Canada Canada Cheap Refills .com. Let me show you up here. Here's the domain, CanadaCheapRefills.com. Here's the website, no longer volleyball. In fact, I'm going to tell you, show you something here. I'm going to just click the back button on the on the browser just to make sure that I'm not fooling you. Now we're back to American Volleyball Association. And the forward button here. We're back to Canada cheap refill stuff here. So this is obvious a problem here. Obviously, the site's been hacked somehow, some way. Oh, by the way, let me do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the cache out. Bear with me a little bit. Show you right here. Clear recent history out. I just clear clear the last hour out here. I'm using Firefox, by the way. Okay, now I go back to. Um, Next, just reload the page here, but now everything's kind of back to normal. There you go. So, whatever's happening here is happening to the search routine here. 
And uh, by the way, this is a, this is a Joomla site. If I did not mention that before, so anyway, let's dig a little bit further into this thing here. One thing I peculiarly noticed here, if you look at the bottom right down here, okay, a bottom left, I'm sorry, I'm gonna change pages, and you can see kind of where this thing's kind of goes off the off the uh, reservation here and trying to access some other sites. Bear with me a little bit, you'll see it come up here. I'm just clicking volleyball equipment. Oh, I didn't quite do it there. Let me try a different different page here. I'm going to do the form this time here. Well, I guess not going to do it for me, but I've seen this um, accessing for to pages or stuff that's off this website, off, off the domain here. I thought I found it kind of weird. I'm going to try to make this happen again. Bear with me a little bit. Okay, I'm just reloading the home page and watch the watch the bottom right there. Getting stuff from the from the domain from the website hosting towards the end here after loading here. Almost there. There, right there. Reading something from sp3 s3pr.freecause.com. Still reading something here. You're seeing live, no cuts, no anything. You're seeing actually what's going on here in real time. It's still reading. And I got no clue what's reading. And it's still reading. What are you looking at that? Bear with me a little bit. I'm going to go in FTP access and show you something else here. That's going back to volleyball. All I do is just reload the home page. So this is doing some stuff that. Uh, I think it's kind of weird and unusual. Anyway, I'll cut it off here and show you something else. Anyway, this is the dilemma so far. I'm going to start doing some, um, run through some procedures, making sure we get, I have some crazy plugins and stuff like that that's causing a security leak and go through some fundamental stuff. Basically, look for the nickel fixes first and work towards the dime fixes and the quarter fixes. And I'll document this stuff as we go so people. So my client knows and you know and uh, people in the future will know about this so I can fix this in the future.